Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about the Cowboys schedule. Just came out. This shit's badass. Just like this fucking hat right here. Cowboys blue. Boom! Haters. It's Cowboys here, motherfuckers. America's team. Get the shit right. All right, bro. We're in it. We're in it to win it, man. Cowboys offseason in full effect. We're about to have the rookie mini camp, so we're going to hype the shit out of these guys some more. I love it. Um, <laughs> But let's talk about this schedule, man. All right. Uh, I needed. I wanted to wait a day to see some initial reactions, and it's kind. Of, it's kind of what I expected. A, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, over. Um, I don't know how to say it, man. A lot of uh, super confidence, man. This schedule's hard as fuck, bro. Let's be real, man. Uh, tied for third hardest schedule, and you can see why. Take a, take a look at this shit, dude. All right. We're, I'm, we're, we're going to talk about this highlight. These are the key spots of the schedule for me. Okay, so week one, obviously, we're back at it. And remember when the Cowboys kept playing the Giants opening day because that rivalry was just at the all-time high with Eli Manning versus Romo? It's back, baby. It's back. The rivalry is back, and the Giants are better. Cowboys, uh, you know, they, they, they've been sweeping these guys. They've been mopping them up, but... Uh, I do expect this division to be a lot harder this year. Um, I don't think we're sweeping anybody this year. Um, now, if we did, it might be the Commanders, but I, I think we're going to split a lot of these games, to be quite honest. Oh, what do you mean? We're we're going to do this and that and this and that. The motherfuckers, all these little fucking little twats, bro. Like, uh, there's going to be a new <laughs> NFC East champion. Uh, there's never been a back-to-back -back here in forever. So who will it be this year? It won't be the Eagles, all right? So it's, it's going to come down to the Cowboys, Giants, or the Commanders. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a bruiser. It's going to be a bruiser uh, division. So uh, you know, um, a barring injuries, you know, and then you never know which team could have them. It could be us. It could be them. Uh, barring injuries, this is going to be a, a very tight, tight division. So at the Giants on the road, this is going to be a tough game right out the gate. Uh, Cabo's got to set the tone here. And they're going to find out real quick, man. Did they give Dak Prescott enough firepower? <laughs> or not? All right. Are we holding our, our hopes on uh, the development of a Jalen Tolbert of a three tight end system? Uh, a better improved Michael Gallup. Are, 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 we're going to find out in that week one game or, or is the, are the pass catchers not going to get it done? Also, the running game is going to get tested here. You know, the, the, did they wait too long to get the running back? Oh, but we got two Vaughn and this and that and, and all the bullshit, and all the hype. I love it, bro. <laughs> I love how these, these players are getting super over, overhyped. I love it. Um, it's not to say that, uh, I am pulling for Deuce Vaughn, man, but we gotta get, we gotta get back to fucking reality here, bro. It's like some, some people are saying some crazy shit. So, uh, how's Tony Pollard going to look, right? Is he going to be a hundred percent? Is he going to be 90%? Is the burst going to be there? You're going to know real quick, man. All right. Um, that being said, you need, you need another back there. So, Will it beat Malik Davis? Will we? Will Rojo still be on the team, or will it in fact be Deuce Vaughn as as a as a bit of a change up kind of guy? If they can use him like Darren Sproles, we're good to go. All right. So, but that's gonna be a big test right out the gate, all right? Uh, Jets week two, tough game there. Cardinals, we should be able to beat these guys. Uh, I think those guys are a complete dumpster fire. If we lose to them, we're in big fucking trouble. <laughs> <laughs> we should beat those sucky Cardinals, man. Nobody wants to play with Kyle Murray. All right, so uh, that the game there, New England Patriots, you know, did, did Belichick do enough through the draft to rebuild that team? They went all in last year with free agency. It didn't help them. Um, they had a bad season last year, so they concentrated more on the draft this year. You know, I think there's going to be some good competition there at quarterback with Mac motherfucking Jones for the Bama boy. 
and Bailey Zappi. So that, that's going to be a good game, man. Now, week five. This is the game we have to win, and we have to win it decisively. No bullshitting around, man. This schedule, top to bottom, hard as fuck. But if you're going to be a champion, you're going to take the schedule on, and you're going to win the games that need to be won. And this is one of them here. San Francisco, you got to win this game because you're going to probably see them later. Okay? Um, and you, you, they got to remember that they got to remember how we beat the shit out of them. Okay? So we're going to go up there. And we got to set the tone. It's, it's a Sunday night game, man. So, if, to me, it doesn't matter who the quarterback's going to be. It could be damn Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold can run that offense. And, and then that's, that's real, man. Um, but it could be, I mean, um, it could be uh, Purdy. That little motherfucker. Or it could be um, Trey Lance. I mean, they, 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 they got a good stable of quarterbacks. It's a quarterback system, right? So, we'll see where they're at week five. And, um... That's a game we gotta win. That 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 is a game that I have circled as a a must win, a statement game. You come out there and get your ass whooped or come out flat, the, the season's in trouble. Oh, but it's early. You always got those it's early pussies out there like, oh, it's early, it's early. Yeah, fuck you, man. I I want the championship. All right. I've been waiting all these seasons and get giving all these guys breaks. Romo, Dak, motherfuckers, start winning, bro. I ain't giving no no. It's early bullshit. You, you can you can kick that shit to the curb, man. It ain't it ain't early, man. Um, now, what I do like about this, all right? Week seven is the bye week. You typically want to get your bye week somewhere in the middle of the schedule, anywhere from week seven to week ten, somewhere around in, in that range there. Um, but for the Cowboys, it's going to be week seven with the bye. Now, what's good about this? After the bye week, we get the Los Angeles Rams. We're going to be home okay mike mccarthy is eight and five after the bye okay all time packers and cowboys he's two and oh after the bye with the cowboys so i uh i think this is very interesting here uh for 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 us i think that it's gonna be time to whoop some ass after the bye week i think you can get on, on a, a little bit of a run here you got the rams you're gonna be at the eagles you know that's gonna be competitive like I said, NFC East, I wouldn't be surprised if we're splitting all these games, win one, lose one. It's going to be like that. All right? It's uh, it's going to be a tough damn schedule, man. Everybody got better. Everybody got significantly better, man. I, I'm not uh, I'm not buying into, oh, these guys are that. They, they don't have a quarterback. They have good coaching. They've got good, very good coaching. They've got good staffs. They added a lot of... Uh, they they uh, they really did a lot in uh, in in the off season and in the draft. So the division got a lot better, man, a lot tougher. After the Eagles Giants were back home at the Panthers, that's gonna be fun. Um, I have this this little section here is the meat and potatoes of the Cowboys. I think week 11 through the 14th is where the Cowboys either cement themselves as a playoff contender or this is where this is where they lose uh, the grip. Okay, because. Uh, week 11 at at the panel you should you should win that you should be able to beat uh, those guys over there okay you should be able to beat the Panthers you should be able to beat Bryce and all those guys the the, the young rookie uh, and then you got the commanders Thursday night but here's where it gets uh, it gets uh, you know this, this is where you have that that small window with a bunch of games within a couple of days so you got the 19th on the road you go uh, four days later with the commanders thursday night okay the following week another thursday night game seattle seahawks those motherfuckers are tough and they got better a lot better they really uh boosted up their running game they got a two-headed beast the physical fucking team bro uh, seattle this is what uh what uh what the fuck's his name the coach over there this is what uh Damn, what's his name? Um, the coach. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him the coach. Uh, we can we can talk about this later, but he uh, he's he's about physicality, man. Physical teams tend to 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 find ways to win the close games and just beat you down. Seattle, they they drafted the secondary very well. They they they, they have already rebuilt another um, you know legion of boom and doom and whatever the fuck. I mean, that secondary is, is going to be vicious, but the running game, I think, is what's really going to turn 
uh, them around, and they got Jackson Jigba. Okay, so Seattle, that's going to be a good-ass game, but we, we are home there. We got three home games here, but they're in close proximity, like I said. So you got to weather the storm of the short the short weeks and recovery time and injuries and being dinged up, okay? And then you got Philly at home on Sunday night. So a lot of primetime games here. You got Thursday night, and then you, you go here on Sunday night, but you do have a little bit of a bye week here. As you can tell, week 13 to 14, Cowboys, uh, November 30th, they get a little bit of a mini bye week here. They play the Philadelphia Eagles on 12-10. So you kind of treat that as a bye. Maybe you can sweep the Eagles here, okay? Uh, McCarthy does relatively well after the bye week. So that's a bit of a little mini bye week, okay? So you, you might be able to steal one there from the Eagles here. You, we are home. You should be able to beat them up, all okay? right? Uh, and then uh, another tough ending to the, to the schedule, man. I mean, this is a tough, tough fucking ending. At Buffalo, that's going to be tough. At Miami, that's going to be tough. Um, I mean, that's going to be a tough game, bro. Detroit, these guys. that the, the, Detroit's got parcels written all over them. And, um, you know, he's the coach over there at Detroit. Uh, former Cowboys tight end. He, he's a he is a, one of these old school throwback Bill Parcells disciples. I think he's really really turned that team around, man. And they really boosted the hell out of that team in the off season. So that's gonna be a tough game. And then of course on the road at Washington, um, there's gonna be something to that game there. It, it always seems like there's something there. Um, for the Cowboys on that last game, either either they're going to rest or they're going to be, you know, in, in the fight of their life. So, tough schedule, man. Tough schedule. Uh, off the rip, I think Cowboys get 11 wins on the season. Okay? I, I do think that. Um, and I think the losses are, are going to come within the division. Like I said, I think they're going to split all three. I think they're going to split all three. Uh, let's be real. Let's be real about this shit, guys. And then, of course, you got the, you know, some of these out-of-division games that are going to be very, very tough. So, um, 11 games. Uh, I'm, pro I'm projecting 11 wins for the Cowboys. The losses, like I said, division. And you can you can pick from the, from these these games outside the conference, outside the division for the, for the rest. But, guys, let me know what you guys think about the, the schedule. Uh, the NFL makes it very tough on everybody. Nobody has it easy. There's no such thing as an easy schedule. It's the NFL professionals. The question is, did the Cowboys do enough for the offense? It's still my biggest number one question mark. And we're going to see. We're going to see about the wide receivers. I, that shit worries the shit out of me, man. It really does. All right. Um... You're gonna need you're, you. You do need an unsung hero. You're gonna need some. You're gonna need a gem to come out of somewhere uh, at wide receiver. You, you need to give CD Lamb legitimate help out there. Oh, we oh we got Brandon Cooks, injury prone as fuck. He's been traded four times for a reason. He's gonna be good for us. I do believe that. I do believe that. But he's gotta stay healthy. And if he's not healthy, well, you lose a weapon there. Who then do you rely on? You know. So there, there's a lot of hope there at the pass catching position here for the Cowboys. And that is the number one thing that worries me. And um, the running backs, we'll see how that shakes out. But guys, let me know what you think about the Cowboys schedule 2023. It's out and uh, it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be fun. I got 11 wins for us. Let me know how many wins you think the Cowboys are going to have. Are we a playoff team? Are we, are we going to have a shitty season? Are we going to get knocked out again in divisional? Are we a wild card? What the fuck are we? Let me know in the comments. Give me your prediction on what you think the Cowboys are going to do this year. All right. That's all I have today, guys. Peace.